The best watch brands tap into our nostalgic sides. They specialize in timeless pieces that are meant to be worn often, admired for their elegance and passed down from generation to generation. Not surprisingly, they're a good gift. For milestone birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, graduations, or any special moment, shopping for a luxury watch requires a fair amount of knowledge. On movements to complications to cases, whether you're a collector or new to the watch world, we consulted horologic experts to find the best watch brands to buy right now for every style and price point. The Aura Speed Crown Pointer Date is a colorful and elegant watch. As the name suggests, there are two distinguishing features. A large, screw-down crown and a fourth hand that points to the date. These, along with the vintage-inspired design, make this a wonderful watch. Like other Aorus models, this watch is available in a couple of sizes. Of the two sizes, I prefer the 40mm over the 36mm. And of the color palettes, this deep red version is my pick. There's a lot going on under the domed sapphire crystal of this watch. The dial is busy and includes an additional date scale. The date is indicated by the fourth hand, with a red accent to help legibility. The dial is full of vintage charm. The case, however, is a little bit more modern and the two work well together. Like the Divers 65, the automatic movement is an Oris caliber. You can see it through the exhibition back and it features Oris. Signature Red Rotor. This is a beautiful watch that once again references the brand's history. It's busy, full of color and ideal if you want the full vintage aesthetic. Once again, I find myself with a Bulova Oceanographer Devil Diver on my desk. Bulova first produced this model from 1968 to 1972. Its compact case, gem set markers, and of course, the infamous 666 depth rating on its dial have made it a favorite among vintage collectors. In 2018, Bulova reissued the iconic model as a limited edition and have since produced several variations of size up to 44mm in color. Today, I have the most recent edition in for review, an orange 41mm 96B350. It's no secret that men's watches have grown over the years, and while some of the mind's bigger madness is now behind us, case sizes do tend to be a size or two larger than they were 50 years ago. The 96B350 is a tad bigger than its ancestor but gets the proportions right. The polished 41mm case is just 1mm wider than the vintage piece I reviewed and retains a similar tapered barrel shape and short lugs that keep the overall length to 45mm. At 14.5mm thick, it is also 1mm thicker. It has a more stout look overall. The case does not curve quite as radically as the old timers, leaving a broad edge on either side of the case. I was happy to see Bulova dig this one out of the archives in 2018 and equally pleased to see it today. In many ways, a 96B350 is more of a faithful homage to the first Devil Diver than an outright clone, and that is fine by me. The Bulova Oceanographer is a fine modern dive watch with a generous dollop of vintage charm. As you might already know, Omega introduced a popular trilogy of watches in 2017 to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Speedmaster, Seamaster 300, and Railmaster. However, this particular Speedmaster remake was introduced 20 years earlier in celebration of the iconic Chronograph's 40th anniversary. The watch is the perfect mix of modern Speedmaster characteristics and vintage charm. One major difference between the historic inspiration and the modern watch is the case size. The original Speedmaster Ref, CK2915 had a 38.6mm case that Omega first introduced in 1965 and still uses today. The watch features the stainless steel bezel and broad arrow hands that characterize the very first Speedmaster, which has also powered multiple generations of the Speedmaster Professional Moonwatch. This particular remake doesn't have the vintage-inspired loom, or so-called Foxtina, found on the 60th anniversary models from 2017. As a result, it looks like a crisp, modern take on the original Speedmaster from 1957. The best thing is that these replica models are still very affordable. Prices start under $3,000 and in Japan at around $4,000 and elsewhere and go up to around $5,000 and it seems like only a matter of time before prices for this great timepiece start rising. The SNZ G15 is renowned among watch enthusiasts for being an excellent piece if you're looking for something rugged with a military design and with great value for money. At 42mm, it certainly won't disappear on your wrist yet the overall black color and bead-blasted case won't make it shout either. It hits the perfect spot between being functional and versatile. But the reason why so many love it is because of its bold, no-nonsense Arabic numeral military time. 
straightforward design and red tip on the second's hands. Top this package off with a 7S36 movement and 100M of water resistance, and for less than your typical fashion watch, you're ready to go and tackle your day. A part of many driver, flyer, diver collections, the Citizen Nighthawk makes for a great entry piece into the world of aviation watches. What makes it so appealing? First and foremost, it is the dial. At a glance, the dial itself seems cluttered and busy. However, it is ultra-legible. The applied indices are spaced out evenly and are broken up by two cardinal hours at 12 and 6. The watch also provides a bevy of tools and functions via its slide rule on the outer ring which is activated by the second crown at 8 o'clock. Additionally, it features a dual time system using the 24-hour semicircular ring on the left side of the dial. Time is read on this by way of the two planes that are constantly in flight. Indicate the AM time on the white ring of 12 hours, and the red plane will show the PM hours on the red ring. The movement is a Citizen EcoDrive Quartz, and makes for a fantastic grab and go piece with little to no maintenance due to its solar charging. What is more, the hour hand can be set independently from the minute hand, which makes this a great watch for travel in addition to the second time zone. The Nighthawk features 200 and water resistance, and a screw-down crown on the 3 o'clock. One of the major complaints about this watch is the sheer size. Despite it being 41mm, the majority of the watch is the dial as the lug-to-lug -lug is only some 46mm at a thickness of 12.5mm. Personally, it doesn't wear too big for my 6.75 wrist. The piece also has a mineral crystal rather than sapphire, which given the price point makes sense. The 22mm bracelet itself is also very nice given the price, and is certainly hefty enough to withstand everyday usage. The Citizen Nighthawk can be had for under $200 and which makes it a tremendous value and ultimately a piece that punches above its weight class. I hope you guys enjoy this review. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions on it.